What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a room tour. A room tour of this room. It's an unfinished room tour. There's still so much that I have to do to this room, but I did move my studio. I think it's been like a month or two. I moved it to a different room in the house and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So you guys can see the little projects that I do little by little as I do things. I do also wanna make videos of how like I choose decor and stuff like that. Right now it's pretty plain, but um, again, like I said, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this room. I do have a beauty room tour video that I've uploaded a long time ago. I wanna say it was like two years ago and I wanted to go ahead and just do an updated one, but it's like an unfinished one. And then once this room is like completely finished, we'll go ahead and do like an official room tour. So if you guys wanna see this room, then please continue watching. This is gonna be like a raw, raw, raw room tour. When you walk in my room, this is the first thing, or this is like what you see. My floors are wood. This is an addition in our house, so it's not part of the house. Excuse the paper up there. Long story short, I had just put my stuff in this room and then we had some weird people move into the house next to me. Like they were weird. I don't know, it's, it's, it's a long story. I don't really wanna get into detail, but I didn't feel comfortable when I didn't have a curtain. So I put some paper there. This is raw, raw room tour. But again, like I said, it's an unfinished, hold on. It's an unfinished room tour, so I'm just showing you guys the room. So the door is behind me, and like I said, when you walk in, this is basically the room. So the first thing you see when you walk in is my mannequin. I used to sell clothing online five years ago when Anthony was a baby, and I used to use this mannequin to put the clothes on and take pictures of. And then I have this table. Anytime that I film on this chair, which I just filmed a haul on this chair, I use that table to place my stuff on because that is the table that usually holds my stuff and I'm not gonna move that all the way over here. So I just use that small one. Then you see this chair. So this chair is the chair that my father-in-law got me. Can you believe that this was $10? It's is in such great condition. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. It was $10, okay? So forget your Chipotle bowl, just buy yourself a chair. It was only $10. They only had one, I wanted to get two so I can do like a little setup over here. Um, but they only had one, so that's what I got. Then we have an outlet here, and then in this basket has all of my hair stuff. So you'll see um, my hairbrush, you'll see hair tools, headbands, clips, combs, and then I have my blow dryer, my flat iron. This is something that I place my flat iron on because I don't have um, like cloth or carpet. Well, even if you had carpet, it'll burn your carpet. But you always need something to lay under your flat iron. So that's what I have this for. And then um, that's what's in that basket. And then we have my mirror. So this is my full length mirror. My mom bought this a long time ago and she gave it to me. This is from Ikea. And then I have my weight bar down here. So. Quick side story, this room used to be my exercising room. But because I needed to move my studio in here, I had to condense. So I have my weight there and then I do my exercise in this little area. It's pretty big. Let me see if you guys can see. It's like a, like a really big area over here. Just thought I would show you guys that room, the, the space. So I do do exercise in here as well. So aside from my hair and my makeup, I do do exercise in here as well. So then in this basket, I decided to go ahead and put um, some things that I might use for my gym. And then behind my mirror, I keep my cleaning supply. I use a lot of Windex. Um, this mirror gets really dirty. My kids come in here and they just start touching the mirror. So um, I gotta keep it clean. So I have my paper towels and my Windex. So then when you keep going, I have my famous squares. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you guys know that I've had, ooh, you guys can't look at that. Let me flip this really quick. Legal documents there. <laughs> but um, I used to use this as my background a long time ago and then I just stopped using it. Now I use it for storage. So this I'm not gonna get into too much detail about. That's my husband's section in this room. We are also trying to make adjustments in our actual house to be able to give him his own little office area because 
I'm selfish and I want this room to myself because I really want to do a lot to this room. I want to build like a little um, hair station which like a mirror on the wall and then like a floating shelf that has drawers so I could put my blow dryer and everything in there. It's going to look like a salon. It's going to look cute. But um, I want to do that and if I do that in that corner, I need that corner. And it's just... I gotta move that out of here before I continue to do anything else. So I just showed you what was in that corner and now we are going to go over here. So this is my AC. So I know that you guys know that this room is, well, I don't know if you guys know, but this room is not attached to the inside of my house. So I don't have central air and I have an AC unit. Excuse the mess over here. I'm telling you guys, this is a raw room tour. So this is my AC unit. It's off right now. I always have it on, but it just makes so much noise. Listen. It's just, it's too loud. So I have it off, but I do keep it on because I don't want my makeup to melt. And like I said, this room is not connected with my house. So I have to keep my makeup warm. I mean, I have to keep my makeup stored in good temperatures. So then right next to that, I have this glass dresser. I'm not going to go into detail as to what's inside of it. Under there, I have that little bag which has all of my nail polishes. In my old room, I had a nail polish rack, but I don't have it in this room. So um, I have it all in that bag right now. And then up here, I have my waxing stuff. I have my machine I got from Sally's Beauty Supply, my wax off, which is from Sally Beauty Supply. And then in this little pink cup, I have my sticks and then my little papers to wax myself. This is a room freshener, like an air freshener. It's an oil. It smells really good. It's from Tommy Bahama. I, I don't remember the scent, but I will have a link down below so you guys can check it out. And then this extension cord leads to, wow, <laughs> leads to this, which has all of my lights plugged in because this room only has one, two, and then the one over there next to my hair stuff, three outlets. I have to use extension cords and just work with what I got. So then this is the table that I have behind me and then I have two Alex drawers. These drawers store all of my makeup. I'm not gonna go into detail as to what's in them because I have a lot of stuff. I have all of my highlights and powders in here and then I have um, blushes, powders and stuff like that. That all has to get organized and then I have lip products. So um, I'm gonna go through all of this stuff, declutter and then um, once I have everything organized, I will do a video on that. And then under here I just have the brushes that I don't use often down here. And then I have this outlet for my chargers, for my chargers, for my batteries. I have my Canon G7X battery and then this is the battery that I use to film my beauty videos. And then I have more paper in case I wanna change the blue one. So on top of my desk, I have this stuff. I have my iMac. I have this, which I got from, I think Hobby Lobby, I think, or Target. I don't remember. This is from Target. This is from Marshalls. This is from Marshalls. This is from Big Lots. Oh, I didn't want to do that. This is from Big Lots. This is from my mom. This was from Hobby Lobby. This was from Riley Rose. And it just has like elastic hair ties in it. This was from, I believe, Hobby Lobby as well. Or Mar no, Marshalls. This was from Marshalls. And then this acrylic drawer was from Marshalls as well. And I just store my palettes in here. And that's basically what's on my desk. So then over here, I have my filming setup. I have two umbrella lights. I have two soft boxes, my ring light, and then my camera. My camera and my equipment is always linked in my description box below. So if you guys are ever wondering what camera I am using in specific videos, I will have it linked down below all the time. If for any reason I change my camera for a video, I will have that in the description box and I will tell you guys what camera I use. When I first started doing YouTube, it was really hard to find anybody that would let you guys know what they were using. So I find it really important to make sure that I always include that in my description box. So right now I'm using my Canon G7X, which is my vlogging camera. And then the camera that I film with is my Canon 70D. And then the mic that I use is my iPhone. You just go to voice memo, you hit record, you record it, and then you can email that recording to yourself. And then you can connect that to your video and edit and align it and stuff like that. If you guys want a video on that, I can let you guys know. It's like a quick video, but um, which I feel like it would be helpful for a lot of people. But I, like I said, have everything always listed in the description box down below. So then on this desk, this desk is from Sam's Club. It's just a regular white desk. This chair was from Target a long time ago. I got to get a new one because it's really flat. 
like my butt hurts when I sit on it. And then um, the table is from Sam's. These are like those party tables. I really do like them. Before, I used to use this to film on when I used to have the squares as my background, but I got this because I wanted to have my Mac in the back and all of that stuff in the back, so I just changed it like that. And yeah, so I film on this desk from Sam's. Wipies, I use wipes all the time, so these are here. These two brush holders are clean. I got this one from Hobby Lobby and this one from Big Lots. This is from Big Lots as well. These are my dirty brushes that I have to clean. I have my pink mirror, which is from Forever 21. I have a headband. I have my toner, which I use all the time. I got this from Walgreens, and then I have a mask. I always do a mask the day before I film, and I come in here, and I do my hair, and while I'm doing my hair, I have a mask on normally. So this is the mask that I'm currently working on. It's almost gone. I absolutely love it. And then I have my moisturizer. This is the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer. You can get this at Ulta or Sephora. And then I have my cotton rounds. So this is Walgreens, Ulta, Ulta, and Walgreens. And then my mirror is from Ulta. Then over here we have my deodorants. I keep them in here. I don't know why, I just do. I have my laptop case. I have my lashes and all of the makeup that I'm going to try and review and use goes up here. And then in here I have all of the stuff that I use often. So I have my mascara, my brow pencil, my mixing medium, scissors. And then down here I used to have things that I was going to try and use. Like this primer I haven't used, this powder I haven't used, stuff like that but it's too small, so that's why I have all of this stuff up here. So that's basically what's on this desk, and that's everything that is in my room. So that basically completes this tour. That's my room, this is where I film. Now you guys know what I be doing, what I be doing. <laughs> so yeah, that completes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, and I will see you guys in my next video.